Hey, 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 Virgo. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Virgo, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, Info's down in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on the link in the description box if you are interested, Virgo, as there are many tarot card impersonators and scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever and ever here on YouTube. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on. Oh, wait a minute. Forgot my glasses. All right, Virgo, you have the Seven of Pentacles, the rewarded frog here, right? Your patience will pay off. If you've been waiting for something, if you've been mm, patient, if you've been planting seeds, I feel like those seeds are about to sprout. And, I, and I'm getting that it's going to be better than you think, better than you think it is whatever it is for you. Now, you also have no here. We're going to see what that's about. But if you had a question in your mind, like when you came to this reading, the answer is no. We're going to delve into that though. The Page of Wands is the Moonscape Messenger. So I feel like some this good news, this message, I feel like is related to the Seven of uh, Pentacles. Whatever it is you're being patient for. And the Page of Swords, the sword bearing sister. There's something within you that wants to be revealed. That's what I'm getting. And you discover this. I'm not sure how you discover it. I feel like the cards will speak. So we'll spare it. So let's see what the Seven of Pentacles is about. Virgo, what are you waiting for? What are you planting? What seeds are here? The lover is the alchemical heart. So if you've been waiting for a lover, oh shit, the Seven of Swords, the Thief and the Knights. Damn. And the Three of Cups, the Trinity Triangle. Oh, how interesting is this, Virgo? Virgo, <laughs> if you find yourself dating a couple of people here, you're going to have to choose. But what's going to happen is one of them, you're going to discover something. And I feel like, okay, this is related to this page of swords. It's like your intuition is telling you something about one of these individuals here. Hmm, I want to get another card on this Seven of Swords here. Yeah, the Seven of Cups. I feel like you discover that this person has more than you as an option. Um, there's something that rubs you the wrong way. Something happens. So this choice becomes evident between these two people. Okay. Let me get. Let's get a kippa. The family room. Ah, so what was. Ah, see, this has to do with within you as well. I feel like you've been trying to build your life and create your life, right? Sort of um, getting Queen of Pentacles by Virgo, okay? And you haven't been able to do that because of this choice. And once this is revealed to you, this individual's sneakiness or doesn't even have to be sneaky. There's just something about this person. 
something that they do, something that happens that rubs you the wrong way and it makes your decision that much easier. And you're like, okay, now I know what I want in my, my world. This family room to me is your world. So it's like your manifesting is going to be quick, quick, quick once you discover this about this individual. Tell me about this no. Yep, yep. <laughs> you tell this person no. You have the devil, the master of lies. So this person may be lying to you about something. You discover this. And it, they just said lie of omission. So it could be that. Death, the metamorphic moth. So this, one of these situations, one of these people, uh, it, it's ending with them. Because you discover... It's almost like you discover their shadow and you're like, mm, nope, can't do that. Can't do that shadow. You know, it's like you, you can expect poverty. There, this person is lacking something and this is, you discover this. But it allows you to move on. It allows you to make this choice. Which I feel like you're thankful for. You're like, okay, well that made my choice easier. Not that you're not disappointed. All right, so tell me about the Page of Wands. Tell me about this Page of Wands. And that could be the good news here. It's like, you know, almost bittersweet, I guess. But it gives you optimism as well. Okay, there's one that, where is it? Where is it? I think it's the Page of Oh no, it's the karmic release, Karm, uh, the sacred karmic dare. So you're going to be releasing. See, that's, that's also what you, what is revealed within you. Ah, this karmic release Virgo is related to this devil. It could even be, it's almost like you're listening to your intuition regarding this person. And I feel like it's, it's sort of by doing this, it's, you're able to get past a, a door that was shut within you. And once that's opened, it's like there's re this releasing of karma, right? discovery of yourself it could even be discovery i'm getting your ancestors so you may be communicating with your ancestors or they may come through and make you they're saying wise to something and i feel like it has to do with your family and even if you look back at your mother or father you're going to be like oh my god that makes so much sense but it stops with you it's like you're releasing the karma so it doesn't continue on and thus creating this vast new landscape in which you can build your life off of right look see ace of cups is related to this love el temperance the find of balance so in releasing this karma there's a find of balancing your masculine and your feminine, but it's also mind, body, and spirit. And this decision, it's like a combination of everything, but everything just lines up so well that the creation of your life is just, it's beautiful. Whoops, yeah, high honor. So it increases your vibration here, sudden wealth. And you may be attracting more than you bargained for. And that's what I was getting in the beginning, right? It's going to be better than you think. The seeds that you planted. Like you're going to be amazed at the speed in which things come to you. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Tell me about the Page of Swords. What is this? Ah, they... The chariot, the, the chariot of Osiris, the empress, the alchemical mother, that's you. You show up as the empress a lot. And we have this extra card. Let me see what I got. 
a metamorphosis here. Um, transformation of the mind I'm getting with this. Set your goals high. It's like aim high. Aim high because you will achieve it. Your expansion will be amazing. And it starts with this decision in love. Not only this decision in love, the trusting of your intuition with this decision. All right. Journey. And then you begin your journey. Yes. The, interesting, because the poverty, right, which is a 37, that's 10. What this person was lacking, it's like irked you the wrong way. And then you've got 10 in the journey. Let me get one more kipper. Ah, you got two. You got house, community, actually you got three, and occupation. So I feel like you're going down a whole different road. It, it's a whole different life that's going to be placed in front of you. You're going to choose it. You're going to build it. But even you are going to be amazed. It's like you're going to be amazed by you, Virgo. And this person, by the way, is a soulmate. This is going to... When you make this decision about these two people, you're going to... It's like your energy is, is raising, but so is this soulmate's. So is this soulmate's. And then you raise... It's like you raise up together and that that they're showing me the hearts connected right but it coming closer so it's like that magnetic pull because of this decision goes and you'll feel it it's like a charge a charge insight see beyond appearances masks cliches and cultural stereotypes to gain insight and you do but you see beyond the veil you see beyond what's there with your intuition right it's like you're not you don't need facts although you may receive them you don't need them because you're trusting of the self all right so advice for virgo advice for virgo advice for virgos let's see what do we got what do we got? Study. Spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn, whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. This is an opportunity to expand your mind. And that's what I was getting from this card. Right? So on your journey, if you feel pulled to learn something new, um, they just said out of the ordinary. It's going to seem to be out of the ordinary, but you need to do it because it's, it's going to be mind-blowing, Virgo, literally. So I'm going to get you a crystal that may serve you with this energy. What is a crystal that may serve Virgo with this energy? Amethyst, humility. So that will help you with this energy and that will help the flow, they're saying, of this energy. All right, Virgo, I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info's down in the description box below. Make sure you're uh, clicking on the link in the description box if you are interested, Virgo, as there are many tarot card impersonators about the community and know that you will always see my face at a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a great day, Virgo, and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.